Daggers then, as we said, a couple of changes from last time to late, late the feed away at Stockport. And they line up as follows. Elliot Justin will be in goal as ever. Manny Onorese and Kenny Clark continue alongside each other at centre-back. Toby Stevenson starts again at left-back with Andrew Eleferiu at right-back. It's a midfield holding two of Mitch Brundle and Matt Robinson. John Luque will be on the left, Jackie Candy on the right. Sam Deering gets his first start, so welcome to him playing in behind another debutant, Ben House, who's on loan from Reading. On the bench of the Daggers is Will Wright, Bagasan Graham, Reese Grant, Joe Quigley and James Dobson. And uh, we're underway here on Daggers Player as we welcome Aldershot to the Chigwell Construction Stadium. Goes long from a Justin kick. Brundle gets it down. Stevenson looks to go to the feet of Luca. That's better from Gagnon. And House runs at his man for the first time. Exchange the pass with Derry. Chance to score. Great goal for Gagnon and Redbridge. And Ben House and Sam Derring have lit the stage alive. On his first start, it's taken him only five minutes. And Ben House has set the house on fire. We've played 13, 14 minutes here on Dagger's player. Dagenham leading thanks to Ben House's goal. And they've got the ball back here, Dagenham. And Ben House sends Checky Candy bursting down the right-hand side. Lots of shots players rushing back. As our Dagger's Ben House makes it 2-0 to Dagenham. He's had two shots. He scored two goals. Has there been a better debut? If there has, I haven't seen it. He created it. He scored it. And Dagenham are two to the good. Brundle goes to the near post, on a razor! It's three! Dagenham are in dreamland! They can't stop scoring! The corner from Luque goes to the far post, Manny on a scores again, it's his second of the season, Dagenham have got three, we've only played 18 minutes! Daring goes to Luque, he's already set one goal up, nearly there's another Brundle, chance to make it four, deflected and it's going to be behind for a corner. They're stacked on the edge of the area and they break away now, Brundle goes to the near post, it's Brundle's the target but it's cleared away to Derry who takes one touch. Matt Robinson gets the ball, he goes down the line to Honoreze who steps over the ball, who cuts it back, Derry to make it four, good save, Clark comes in and it nearly was four and Mitch Walker had to get down smartly to save it. Long, long it may continue. Uh, all three lads are shining at the moment. In fact, the whole team is shining. Candy wants to add to the goals. Into Daring. Luke to make it four. It is four. Jack of a walking goals in. That is sublime football. And John Luke has his goal. It was a sensational move. Right to left. Daring gets the assist. Luke gets the goal. We've played 25 minutes. It's Dagenham and Redbridge. Four. All the shot nil. And uh, Ben House is away here. Ben House one on one. He goes outside the man. The goalie rushes out. The goalie fouls him. It's not a penalty for me. It's a goal kick. Ben House, I think, got to the ball first and then ran into the goalkeeper. Putting them to the sword. Can they get a fifth? The corner's towards the near post. They won't get on the end of that one. But uh, Dering will send a nice ball back out to Luca, who gets it right footed, a chance to reload the box. He wants to beat his man and does. That's a good cross, though. Coming in is. Uh, who was that at the back post? It was Ben House. Trying to get around the back of his man. He would bowl, blow for half time there. He doesn't. We're still going. And it's all the shot attacking with Santos down the right hand side. Again, Stevenson comes across with a good sliding tackle. And that is half time here. And what a first half we have seen at the Chigwell Construction Stadium. tries to spin clear from his man. Robinson heads it back on for Dagenham and a shanked clearance finds Candy. Chance for him to be positive. He doesn't need two, two times to ask. He gets past one, then another. Good refereeing though from Ryan Atkins. He brings it back. It was a clear foul and this Mike is in a really good area. 
Luke will take this one as well. It's short to Dering, who lines up. It's deflected. Where's it gone? It's gone behind for a goal kick because it hits about three Daggers players, I think, in the end. Combined, but they can't. But Dagham do win it back with Brundle, who heads it on to Quigley. He's in the middle of the park. He has Candy with him on the right-hand side. It goes back to Brundle. Eleferiou offers wide right and is found. The ball's then whipped into the area. Quigley's going to head this down towards goal. It tips over the bar. Candy add to his goals. I think he scored four from memory. The ball's whipped in towards the far post. Here's come Dagenham. Oh, he should have scored! Well, they're taking it. Will Wright. What a goal! That is one of the best you'll ever see. Will Wright, take a bow. Top bins. Dagenham have got a fifth. I thought it was Will Wright. It is Will Wright. Hear his name ring around the ground. It's his first goal of the season and one to remember. Looked up, considered and thoughtful and the ball went to a Dagger's player rather than just his usual boot up the middle. Good work. Yep, good play indeed and it's been a successful play as Quigley finds Luke who is going to go long on this occasion. It's a good ball actually to Reese Grant. He's up against Finney, he's one on one, he holds it up and says a lovely ball to Mitch Brundle who's going to get there first and it's a good save by the goalie, Mitch Brundle. He was caught in two minds. I think he wanted to beat him, and he also thought I could dink him. In the end, he did a bit of neither, and uh, we'll credit Mitch Walker, the goalie. Stevenson just leaves his mate a little bit short. A dagger get a bit of a fortuitous break, and here comes Luke. Finds Quigley. Tries one from distance. What a goal! Joe Quigley take a bow as well. Everything Dagenham do is going in. Joe Quigley, 25 yards out. Top corner. It's six. You heard me. It is six nil to Dagenham and Redbridge. And what about that goal then, Mike? I mean, he missed from about two yards out from the corner, but he didn't miss that one. It's just all about confidence. The team are playing so well together. Uh, if they concede a, a goal, not that they'll make a, a trot, but they'll just be disappointed if they concede. And they have, and they have conceded. It's gone in across from the left-hand side. I'm just waiting to see who scored it. But Aldershot have made it 6-1. It's the right back, Robbie Tinkler. Is there a last minute moment of glory? Bettner's gonna line one up from distance. Oh, it's hit the frame in the goal. Elliot Justin stood there like it wasn't going in. It was a lot closer than he made it look. Corner to Aldershot, comes in and it's over the top everyone. Now that's the full-time whistle here on Daggers Player on a memorable afternoon's football for the Dagenham and Redbridge. The players give themselves a big hug and a pat on the back because Dagenham and Redbridge have beaten Aldershot by six goals to one.